Hello everyone, this is Nod, and I'm recording another video on my camera. Oh god, and there's a huge, well not exactly a storm, but there's like a lot of wind going on, and that's kind of annoying. I'm planning on releasing at least one more video in the next few days if I have enough time for it. I haven't recorded it yet so it just comes down to what happens how much time I have to record it but right now I'm recording this on my camera because this is gonna go up on the electronic game hub channel as well and it's um, gonna be a recording about the Buffett XT because I haven't played my XT in a while and I decided to get it out turns out here's my assessment the bop it, yes, thanks for saying bop it, the bop it buttons, and the flick it, and the shake it I'm switch, you know, the thing that you turn on and off, that thing, those are the three things out of the seven things that work, because the pull it doesn't always work, the spin it doesn't always work, even the twist it doesn't always work, and you can't even twist it backwards for some reason. That is really weird. And the shake it, don't even get me started on the shake it. So, I just played a few hours ago and I got a, a Well, let's see if I can beat that. Not like that. I freaking did, it's not my fault, you stupid piece of noise. Be prepared for a lot of hitting the bucket button because I'm gonna be raging. Come on! I did! I'm gonna hit this on the bucket button on the. Uh, I'm gonna. Throw it against the bed. Why? What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna shake it the regular way and see if that's any better. Nope. You know what? This calls for extreme measures. Calls for bop it extreme measures, if you know what I mean. I'm going to see if I can uh, quickly grab something. Nope, can't find it. Wonder where it went. Where was it last time? I don't remember. Where did it go? I remember quite well that it was somewhere around here. Where did it go? I am not looking for this. I'm looking for a few other things. I can't find them. Great. Oh, and that's where my calculator went. Well, I don't care about that right now. Definitely do not care about that. And I cannot find what I'm looking for. Great. You know what that means? Gotta do it the other way. Okay. Screwdriver time. Let's do this. Can't look at the inside, but I can at least open the battery compartment, which you all know what I'm getting at here. I need to find out what's going on and how well this is going to work. Oh, come on, screw. Don't be so stubborn. Okay, am I putting it in the right place? Yes, I am. Why isn't it working? And I can hear the clicks, too, so it's not like... Okay, there we go. So, let's do this. Score 28. Yellow. Green. Yellow. Green. 
green is the one without the the bop it itself. It's just the button. Yellow, green. Okay, twist it works. You have to be really, really firm with it, or else it won't work. Spin it. More often than not in this case, but a lot of the time it doesn't work, at least when you play it. Okay, and then flick it always works. That works. Now trying to shake it activates the spin it instead. Oh, I can't shake it at all. Oh crap, shouldn't have done that. Oh, I think I broke it or something. Uh, no, I, I mean, I didn't break it, but I took a... Oh god, what the hell happened? Did a battery fall out? Did one of the batteries fall out? Is that what's going on? Yeah, must have been. Let me see if I can... Solo. Oh, come on. Do it. Why isn't it working? Solo. Really? Are you kidding me, game? Are you kidding me? Come on. Say... Jam it. Solo. What? I, it did it last time. Why isn't it doing it now? Score, there we go. Okay, let's put the battery back in. Okay, so shaking it this way doesn't work. Shaking it this way doesn't work either. Am I sure I have it working? Not even doing this works. My shake it sensor is literally broken. Whoa, what the hell is that? So, I guess the conclusion is my shake it sensor is literally broken. So, I guess I'm gonna have to play without shake it forever. And let's see if I can actually do this with shake it off. I guess I can say this was, I can admit that this was the most beat up bop it, the bop it I drank the most to different places like to school back in 2012 or in 2013, as well as to other random places, usually actually while returning from school to home or something. What? Not again. 30. 30. So, not even the extreme two. Oh, I was gonna try and shake it there. Um, the, not even the extreme two qualifies as being that beat up. Although, ah, uh, not again. Although, that game is also quite beaten up, but I can't exactly test it find out in what way the main problem with that one is the bopped button usually both bopped buttons have some kind of problem you gotta be oh god that was my fault i think because i pulled it once and then i was like 
I don't know, my, my other hand was like frozen and I couldn't start. get to the handle in time or something. Five, that was four, really 30. weird. There we go. Basically, no way of me being able to play any challenge with this anymore. It's basically retired, just like my Simon Air is. Oh, did you? Did I ever tell you guys about the Simon Air? Well, it turns out, while we recorded the last video, we were having fun with my cousin, and something randomly happened. I have no idea how it happened, but the speaker started distorting. And then it shut off completely, and the speaker is basically broken. My dad fixed it, but in the process, he also made the green light not work at all. So the sensor is broken, and I can't get past a certain point on levels or classic. So there's literally no way I'm playing this, playing the Simon Air efficiently now. So the Simon Air is broken, and it was quite a shame too, because it was the last game I had. Christmas of 2017, and in less than a few, uh, like four months or so, it kind of broke. Um, and then the XT, I, I was always expecting it to break. I mean, my dad repaired it like a year and a half ago, uh, getting the twist and everything to work, but since then, nothing has changed. It still sucks. And I have no idea if I'm ever going to get a replacement, if this is ever going to break. Um, what was that? 49. Close to 56. Quite close. I'm going to try one more time and I'm going to go over to the extreme to see how long I can play. See, I tried to shake it again. It's old habits. Because I always had to shake it on. There's no reason not to. Seriously. Ah, oh, come on. Meow. Score 12. So, with that, I'm going to get my extreme 2 and see how well this works. Bop it to start. Probably not that well, considering. I'm going to sleep. It feels so bulky, but it also feels also feels a lot more well made if you know what i mean since it's a lot heavier it feels heavy but it feels beatbox one on one Five. beatbox solo it feels a lot more well made for some reason even though i'm pretty sure they're using the same kind of plastic the rubber helps i like the rubber coating on the arms okay let's see if i can do this Oh, I didn't check my high score. Never mind. Oh, the spin it. Spin it's kinda. Eh. I mean, I could try playing it without. without slowing the spin it down, but I have to. Like, there's no way I'm gonna play this without. Oh, what the hell? Game over! Score! 14! What was that? Oh wow, 101. Fine, I'm gonna try not slowing the spin it down ever. See how well it works. Because that's the fun of playing the extreme too. Finding out if your spin strength. Whoa! I I've never had this happen before. And it just happened twice, right after the other. How do you do that? That was amazing. Downside to this is sometimes in the first phase, oh, 
Yeah. I love doing this though. It's really fun. And the cool thing is, yes, your index finger really gets messed up after it's spinning it for this long, but it doesn't take that much effort. Like, if you hit it at the right spot and just have your hand, like, I don't know, just swing past it, it does a lot of really cool things. And I don't think I've ever seen it do the double spin thing before. Oh my god. Uh, no. score, you know, score. it's quite weird because I've only, like, last time when I played this a few months ago, the only time I saw it do the, uh, the really, really early thing and then losing was after 64 points when it speeds up. But apparently not now because I get a score 4. In fact, it could have happened just now with a score of zero because it doesn't change speed, of course. So, in theory, it literally depends on luck if you manage to uh, basically get the spin it right. I'm wondering what the spin on the extreme two would be like. No, the extreme one, sorry. Oh, come on, you should have done the first time! Yeah, here's the problem with the bottom button. It doesn't work very well. Sometimes it doesn't work. far we can get. I haven't had too many spinets in a while. Three twisteds, not bad. Yeah, I instinctively slowed it down there. I'm gonna try not to do that again. You know what? Wait, never mind. Oh, come on.
No. Oh, look at you. Look at you. High score. One hundred sixteen. Well, I'm stupid. Wait. One hundred and twelve. Yeah. One hundred sixteen. Because it's gonna go up to one hundred and twenty-eight. Um. Yeah. Got the high score. I guess. You know what? Forget. I'm gonna beat this. I'm gonna beat an extreme too for once. And I'm gonna stop spinning. Or at least try to spin it a lot less than I usually do. If you control your spin it, you can spin it really, really slow. I mean, uh, with like a lot less power. And as a result, be able to actually play the game correctly. One thing I'm, I was always fascinated by with the electronic games is the mechanical noises that it makes. Like, whenever I listen to someone play a game, I'm always interested to see what kind of noises they do while playing it. And a game like this, where there's different assemblies and stuff that you have to hit, and twist and pull and flick and spin and stuff, it is quite cool to listen to all those things being represented. And see the difference between the different models, like the Extreme, the Extreme 2, and the XT all have different versions of all those things. And in some cases, you can always, you can consider every single bucket to have a bucket gun, right? And almost every bucket has a bucket twisted pull it. So I guess you can, you can compare those. There's my baffle bun doing my flicky. Did I say flicky or did I say flaky? I meant to say flaky. Oh, sh that was that was me. My old habits. Shouldn't be doing that. If anyone, probably me, is interested, I can take a look at the results of this, find out the different scores for all the different challenges and stuff. And I used to do that quite a lot back in 2017. It was kind of fun, but it was all just numbers, I guess you can call them. But it was quite fun. Level 128, rather than level 3, starting from 128. I haven't gotten a huge amount of twist hits yet. I remember talking about getting 10 twist hits or something. That is something that's really rare. Don't see that very often. Whoa, I was always almost gonna flick it there. slower because there's more samples involved in the music so it has to slow down because the files are just too long and you can't do more silence or something it's weird or less silence that is
What? What was that? Would have gotten 192, uh, and then moved on to 250. But I, I have no idea what the hell happened there. So I guess I got a. High score, a 176. 176. Which is not bad, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't be looking at challenges with this because it's not a, a 250 point, but you know, maybe a few years in the future or something, I'm going to download my videos and take a look. And with that, I think I'm done because, oh, I have to put the battery cover back on. I'm going to record that because why not? So, yeah, that was me playing a few old school boppets the first ones i had september 2011 and march 2012 god those were the times such a long time ago six and a half years well if you count that then i guess seven years almost six and ten months or something so quite a huge amount of time And, um, there's really no, no way of me knowing if I'm ever going to get any replacements for either the XT or the Simon Air. I'm really skeptical about the Simon Air, though, because even though it is a really, really cool game, it just doesn't work. It's too fragile. I've, heard, I've had a lot of people complaining about the fact that the speaker just shuts off and dies. So, I'm a little scared to buy one now, or make someone buy it for me. So, with that, maybe at some point I'll have the Boppet XT either fixed or replaced, but won't be in the really near future. I'm thinking of, I don't know, getting a few old school games, if anything. Either that or the Simon Optics, because the Simon Optics sounds really cool. And, um, what's that? Probably low battery, as far as I can tell you. That's fine. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I'm hoping that more electronic game videos will be coming. But I'm not sure. You shut up. So yeah, that was me playing some boppets, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.